So Mac OS 26 has been out for a while now and I've been using it a lot on my MacBook. And honestly, there are a bunch of smart but super useful features that I've grown to love. From the new liquid glass look to some underrated tools in Spotlight and Control Center, these are the kinds of things that make using your Mac every day a lot smoother and more fun. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 simple but super powerful Mac OS tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of your Mac. Whether you're using the latest MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or even an older model that just got the update. Let's get right into it. One of the first things you will notice in Mac OS Tahoe is the new liquid glass design. It gives your Mac this modern, frosted glass effect, kind of like depth through transparency, similar to what we have seen on the iPhone and iPad. But there's the cool part. You can actually control how much of the glass look you want. Go to System Settings, Appearance, Liquid Glass and you will see four options here. Default, Dark, Clear and Tinted. Default and Dark are what we have already seen but when you pick Clear, your apps and widgets turn super transparent and glassy. It looks stunning especially on the new OLED Macs. And if you choose tinted, you can even select your own color to give apps a subtle tone or aesthetics of your choice. Pair that with light or dark mode or schedule it to switch automatically at sunset. It completely changes the mood of your workspace. Now, the next step is to change the color of your folders. So here's how to personalize them and make your desktop look way more organized. Right click a folder, pick a color here, click customize folder. Now you can use relatable emojis for projects, for finance or for notes, whatever suits your setup. It's such a small tweak but when you open finder, you can instantly spot what you need visually instead of reading every name. I've color coded mine, red for YouTube, green for finances, blue for personal stuff and my desktop looks 10 times cleaner now. Spotlight got a massive glow up in Mac OS 26. Most people use it to open apps, but it's actually way more powerful now. Press Command plus space, click on the side arrow like this. So Command plus one opens all apps. Command plus two searches files. Command plus three is where the magic happens. It opens quick actions. When you press Command plus three, Spotlight suggests shortcuts for things like sending a message, starting a timer, creating a note or sending an email. You can assign your own quick keys for these actions based on how you work. For example, I've set my own shortcuts here. When I type SE, Spotlight knows that I want to send an email. It immediately gives me feel to write the subject, the message and the recipient and you can even add multiple email IDs. Hit return and it's sent. No need to even open the mail app. Similarly, you can send messages, create new notes or schedule events right from Spotlight. And if you scroll through the list, there are tons of actions to choose from. It's one of those tiny features that add up true micro efficiency that saves you clicks every single day. To quickly access the quick keys, you can just open the spotlight and then press the up arrow to go through the quick keys you have already assigned. If you've ever copied a few things in a row and lost the first one, this is for you. Now Spotlight lets you see your clipboard history. Hit Command plus space and press the right arrow and you will get three options here. Click on clipboard. Now it will show all the phrases, texts or files that you have copied and you can choose from here. You can clear history by clicking here. 
Another tip, let's customize the control center to match your workflow. Open the control center from the top right corner of your screen. You will see all your quick controls here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, focus, volume, brightness and more. Click edit controls and you will find a bunch of additional options you can add. I personally keep a few things that I use all the time like the options to shift a window to the left or right for quick multitasking and start screensaver. That one's perfect for when I have to leave my laptop open but I want to keep things private. I just tap it from the control center before walking away. I also keep screen recording and a shortcut to notes since those are my most used tools. You can even reorder the icons. Just hold command and drag them around to set your preferred layout. And yes, you can finally show your battery percentage permanently too. They are small tweaks, but together they make your Mac feel cleaner, polished and truly yours. This one is such a game changer if you are in the Apple ecosystem. There is now a phone app on macOS, just like your iPhone. You can make and receive calls directly on your Mac, see your recent calls and even check voicemails. Just make sure both your Mac and iPhone are on the same Apple ID and Wi-Fi. Then on the iPhone, go to settings, calls from iPhone and toggle it on. Once that's set up, whenever someone calls you, it rings on your Mac too. You can answer using the Mac's mic or AirPods and keep typing away while you talk. No need to grab your phone mid-workflow. It's seamless and surprisingly reliable too. Apple finally realized that Macs can be gaming machines too. The new game app is like your central hub for all things gaming. It organizes your Apple Arcade titles, third-party games and connected controllers all in one place. You can track playtime, achievements and more. But the best part? Game mode. When it's on, macOS automatically prioritizes your CPU and GPU for gaming, reduces background tasks and lower latency if you're using AirPods or Bluetooth controllers. It's basically Apple's do not disturb mode but for gaming performance. If you own multiple Apple devices, this one's pure magic. Continuity makes all your devices feel like one ecosystem, not separate gadgets. Copy text on your iPhone, paste it instantly on your Mac. That's universal clipboard. Start replying to a message on your Mac, finish it on your iPad. That's handoff. But my absolute favorite is continuity camera. You can now use your iPhone as your Mac's webcam. The video quality difference is honestly night and day. Plus, there's desk view, which shows your face and your desk simultaneously. Perfect for demos, unboxing or productivity videos. This is one of those things that makes you appreciate how well Apple ecosystem just works. Let's talk about automation. If you have ever wanted your Mac to do multiple things with one click, this is it. The Shortcuts app lets you create custom automations for everyday tasks. You can launch multiple apps, rename files, resize photos, clean your download folders, all within a single tap or Siri command. For example, I have a shortcut called Work Mode. It opens Final Cut Pro, Notes and Safari with my YouTube dashboard all at once. You can trigger shortcuts manually or schedule them to run automatically at a certain time or when you connect a device or add shortcuts to the control center. And if these sound complicated, it's not. There's a shortcut gallery with tons of ready to use templates like convert to PDF, open recent downloads or split screen setup. Once you get used to it, it feels like you have added a personal assistant to your Mac. If you read content from around the world, this feature is such a win. You can now translate any text instantly without leaving the app. Highlight the text, right click and hit translate. macOS will detect the language automatically and show the translation inline. You can set your preferred translation language under system settings, language and region, 
translation. It even works offline for many languages, but super helpful when you're traveling or working remotely. It's fast, private, and seamlessly integrated. No Google Translate tab needed. All right, here's a quick bonus before we wrap up. Right click any file in Finder's app, go to Quick Actions, and you will see shortcuts like Rotate, Convert to PDF, Trim Video, or Markup. You can even add your own custom actions through the Shortcuts app, like compressing files or renaming batches of photos. Once you start using Quick Actions, you'll realize how many unnecessary clicks it saves you every single day. So those were 10 simple yet powerful macOS tips that can genuinely make your Mac feel faster, cleaner and more personal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss on the next Apple video. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anshana. Bye-bye.